Nitro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through Welcome my back to Retro Bassin. So I hope everyone out there in Retro Bassin land is having a good, even a great, the greatest 4th of July weekend, wherever you are in this great land of ours. Um, we're going to be hanging out at the Retro Ranch this weekend. Um, might be getting on the water um, perhaps Monday or Tuesday if all goes well. We've got a, a couple of different projects in various stages of completion. Definitely have found some pretty cool old baits and we've managed to string together a few catches with some stuff that honestly I didn't know would work. In the meantime, today we are going to uh, head back to simpler times as we uh, dig into the old retro mailbox and find some good old stuff in there for sure. And if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish at old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures, and equipment, stick around, consider subscribing, and please hit that bell icon, otherwise you won't know when we post a new video like this one. By the way, if you notice the new gear today, head on over to TXProvisions.com. We've got a bunch of new stuff on the website, including some pool-friendly pints, and some retro bass and inspired brand new caps. Check this thing out. This is the 1964 Port Aransas Tarpon Rodeo. Okay. So in addition to being a old lore junkie, I'm also an old country music junkie. I think I've got just about every vinyl record uh, made between the years of 1968 and 1982. Huge Mel Tillis fan. And little known fact, Mel Tillis used to make lures for a while. I don't know when it was he got into this, but this is called the Sputter Fuss. Is it? No. Quite reminiscent of a Ozark Mountain wood chopper. Honestly, really reminiscent. It's got a nice solid body. It looks like it's hand painted. So he used to sign some of these. I don't think any of these are signed. And I need to get some more information on exactly like how it was Mel Tillis, the country music star, came to make lures. No idea. I've never seen these before, so online I thought they might be a little bit chintzy. Um, aside from like the two cent hooks, the rest of the body, the spinners, the eyes, honestly, a nice little bait. That'll totally work. Sweet, thank you, Mel. Oh, and there's another color. Look at that, that's actually really nice. It's a nice sort of golden brown, orange belly. Almost looks like a peacock bass lower, doesn't it? We've had a few requests to do a Bass Buster Beevil Spin episode, and rest assured, guys, uh, that is coming. In the meantime, check that sweet vintage bait out. It is the Bass Buster Chummin' Minnow. Basically, it looks like it's a Beetle Spin head and spinner. And this is that Chummin' Minnow version they had. I've also got some earthworms in the same form. I think this is basically the sort of impregnated with uh, fish juice. Tastes alive and it smells like old man. I'm like trying not to cut myself because it's like the 4th of July and it's probably like the worst time to go to the ER, so be careful. Oh. I know there's a ton of Fred Arbogast addicts out there, 
but this is definitely one of the more rare and honestly off the wall baits for that bait maker. This is the old school Rito's rig. Oh. So my uncles and cousins are down in Ocean City, Maryland this weekend fishing on their 32 Blackfin, the Keneelan. If I'm ever allowed to fly again, I'm gonna get back to Maryland and I am going to make them take me offshore and I'm gonna make them tow this thing. Check that out. That is 100% an Arbogast bait. Oh man, I mean, I mean it might work on Falcon Lake too. I don't know, I've heard they've got some really Really big fish in there, but check that thing out. That is, so it sounds like just a standard wood um, chugger style offshore bait with a nice metal leader, single hook. I don't know if these came pre-rigged back in the day or what. And there's a blue. Honestly, that would catch pelagic, right? As you can tell, I've got some Texas Coast fishing on the mind and it inspired me to pick up a few LNS mirror lure baits. And here are some, I think, rather old ones. Ooh, check that dude out. Super tough Duralite. Toothy fish cannot puncture. Look for the red eye. Is that a, that's got a white eye. <laughs> I guess don't look for the red eye then. Ooh. Your LNS Mirror Lore. You know, it's so funny, but everyone just fishes the Mirror Lures in salt water. Honestly, that'd catch a bass. Oh, that's gonna be fun. I cannot wait to get down to the coast. Um, if they ever like open the beaches and let me fish. We're actually heading down to Rockport in about two weeks and I have got a saltwater tackle box all loaded up. I will be adding these. Ooh, speaking of mirror lures, uh, I think I've got the LNS payload here. Check those out. So I found some of these, some really sweet looking old school LNS mirror lures. That almost looks like that would fish, what's this called? Um, doesn't even have a name. That almost looks like it would fish a lot like a sort of a rattle trap, but maybe a little bit shallower because of the nose. That would totally work down in Port A. Ooh, similar model in gold. I mean, I just love the look of those mirror lures. It's such a classic, salty look. Check that guy out. That's a weird bait. I, I, just, I just don't know how to fish that at all. Does it have a model number? 32M26. No idea what to call that. So I think the whole bit with mirror lures was that they were basically indestructible baits, especially when you're dealing with toothy fish like speckled trout, sea trout, um, blue fish. You need something that's gonna, oh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to almost dedicate, I think an entire episode to the mirror lure. So that's pretty cool. So that is a style of bait Nice looking classic gold box. LNS Miro Lore. There you go. So this bait is, wow, sweet little bait. Really reminiscent of those Miracle Minnows and even that Sparkle Tail that I picked up. Compact little jointed bait with a tiny sort of almost just nothing tail and a little chunky head with almost a square bill. What's so weird is that you never ever see this style of bait anymore. But in the past two weeks, I've found basically three different companies that have almost the exact same one. So, interesting. Oh, there we go. And another classic. 
That's more like what you think of, by the way, when you think of Mirror Lord, isn't it? Just not that jointed one with the lip. It's that classic sort of darter diver style. Ooh, that would totally catch a speckled trout. So this entire box is 100% coming to the South Texas coast with me like in two weeks. And styrofoam. No idea. <laughs> Did somebody shoot me like cocaine? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I feel that it's gonna be a giant mess. Oh! All right, this has to be the greatest packing job in the history of eBay. Look at this, styrofoam. <laughs> I mean, you could get that across the border. That was such a good pack job, wow. I mean, the lure is gonna be a letdown at this point, unfortunately. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Zebco, The Secret. A sweet, really little-known crankbait. Look how deep that thing dives. I don't know if this thing goes down to, it's supposed to go deeper than 20, but it looks like it might with that lip. Just got one. We'll leave them in the package for now, but honestly, it looks like the package has been kind of cut, so I'll probably end up opening that. But... So this is actually very apropos for the day it is today, which is of course the 4th of July. <laughs> Check that out. So this is an old bait. I think BASS actually helped come out with this. This is called the Uncle Sam Spinner Bait. Oh, and it's already open, so I'm gonna open it anyway. Uh, so there's the man himself. And friends, I don't know if that'll catch a bass or not, but that is one good-looking spinnerbait. <laughs> Ooh, it's got a nice uh, non-ball bearing swivel on it as well. So this is the Uncle Sam limited edition hand-painted collector's lure that catches bass. Well, there you go. Oh, and it was designed by Ray Scott, president of BASS. Awesome. Well, Ray, wherever you are, buddy, I hope you are having one heck of a 4th of July. Until next time, guys. Keep that flag a-flying. And definitely, fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass.